I started playing beach volleyball in Santa Monica. Uh, I had learned the game in my junior high school in Santa Monica where we played indoors. And by the time I uh, had gotten to uh, UCLA, uh, I started uh, playing very seriously with uh, uh, the intentions of just playing, playing volleyball in college. Got very serious when I uh, started training and I loved growing up uh, playing on the beach in Santa Monica. Well, uh, I think who started me the most were, uh, were my coaches, uh, at, at my PE teachers at, 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 in junior high school, who were all uh, Sorrento Beach, uh, Southern California Beach players. Uh, Dave Heiser, Dave, uh, Don Steer, and a number of those players, and um, it was exciting to play, and I was, you know, I have fairly good at it at the beginning. And I thought, boy, I, I really enjoy this. That's, that's how I got started. When I first started, when I first saw the beach tournaments, and I saw guys like Selznick and some of those guys playing, I said, man, I, I want to do that. I happen to remember that my first tournament that I won was Muscle Beach in Santa Monica. It was a single-A tournament. And I played with Jeff Rohr against uh, a couple of the local uh, uh, top players at Muscle Beach at the time. Uh, Bob Mathis and I think Art Dino was, was, was the player. And then the following week, so we won that tournament, Jeff Rohr and I won that tournament. And then the following week uh, was the Sorrento Beach Double A tournament. So I went from single A to double A and then I played with Greg Miller, who I became teammates with at UCLA and, uh, on the college team. And uh, we won the double A tournament. So I went from single A uh, one week uh, to double A and then to open to triple A in two weeks. Well, my tough, toughest opponent playing on the beach for, in 1968 was Ron Van Hagen and Ron Lang. Uh, I played with uh, uh, my friend Henry Bergman, God rest his soul. Uh, and uh, they had, uh, the previous year in 67, they hadn't lost a match. And uh, they were going. They went through just about everybody because they were just so steady. And I had grown up trying to play against Von Hagen and Lang at Sorrento Beach, and you know they, you know, beat me over and over and over and over and over, and I could not beat them. And finally, I uh, got just a little bit better and a little bit better, and we finally beat them up in uh, the Samana Nautica Santa Barbara tournament, the first. No, I, no, we lost that tournament. That's when Henry Cramp. But uh, we beat him the next week, and then was, that was the '68 season where, where I played seven tournaments, and we, uh, Henry and I played Von Hagen and Lang in the finals in all seven tournaments, and they had won three, and we had won three, and then the Manhattan Open was the seventh and final decider, and that's when we had that, that brutally long match that went into the night, at the Manhattan Beach. Open. So Ronnie and Ronnie were, were definitely big, biggest opponents. Well, on the beach, it was that tournament. It was the Manhattan Beach Open in 1968. Uh, although I have said numerous times that um, if ever there was a tournament that should have been called a draw, that, should, that was it. Uh, because uh, we, uh, uh, we lost to Ronnie in the, uh, uh, Ronnie and Ronnie, in, in the uh, winner's bracket. And uh, we lost to them like 21-19, and then 19-21 we beat them, and then they, they beat us 2018 in the finals of the winner's bracket. And that went on for three hours. And then uh, we came back and won the loser's bracket, and then started it up again. And we started the, the, the finals of the tournament, uh, you know, at a, probably around 5.30 or 6 o'clock at night. And uh, we ended up by 8:30. We had only played two, ga two games, and we had to play one more game to finish the tournament. And uh, uh, before we started the game, Ronnie, you know, said, "Okay, if we start, we finish." That was my. I said, "Look, if we start, we finish." And they said, "Okay." And by the time it was about five all, six all, or something like that, it just was so dark that Lang couldn't see the ball. And I sent up a couple of high, a couple of high boys, which I still have guilt about. Uh, uh, and uh, 
but that was that was the biggest win. Even though I, I think, in, in all due respect, I really do think that should have been a draw. Well, uh, Henry was Henry, Henry Bergman. I mean, I, I played. I really only played you know, such a short time on the beach. I played with two guys, Bobby Flam, who was just you know just an underrated, terrific player. But he just wasn't as really confident as he should have been. And I convinced him how good he was, and he really was good. And so we won a lot of tournaments together. But Henry, Henry, just because he was just such a unique individual and so passive and so quiet and so timid and and uh, uh, and, and then he, he hit some of his hits some of his spikes were just so spectacular that it was just great fun playing with him and he was so machine like he never missed a pass all the sets were right on Henry was a beloved beloved partner as a favorite beach or any beaches I didn't like um, I really didn't play that, you know, I played just a few years uh, and I enjoyed all the beach tournaments, but the biggest one by far was the Manhattan Beach Open, and that's where the crowds were enormous, and, uh, you know, like we're up in East Beach, which I love, East Beach up in Santa Barbara, we'd, we'd play all weekend, but, but by the time you got in the finals on late Sunday afternoon, you know, there was maybe three or four hundred people, you know, left you know, die hard, but they were real at it. In Manhattan Beach, on the contrary, by the time we were playing in the finals late in Sunday afternoon, I mean, there was thousands of people, you know, and I've got pictures of people on the pier and around and even parking cars with the street, with their lamps, with their lights on. So it was really exciting because, and there was so, so knowledgeable, you know. But we played side out scoring, and so, I mean, the games went on forever. But Manhattan Beach clearly was, was the favorite, and it, it meant the most to, to everybody that played, because anybody who played on the beach at that time, that was the one they shot for. Any it, it, advice to young aspiring players is, is just practice. It's just, I mean, in my case, uh, uh, you know, I, I was very fortunate. I had a wonderful guy, my coach, Al. Al Skates at UCLA, and uh, after I graduated from UCLA, he went on and he had me play on some of that uh, with, with his open team, which really got me into the game and just made me totally committed that I wanted to be an Olympic athlete. But um, uh, if, if I have uh, you know one set of advice, it's to train hard and practice hard. And uh, I, re I remember when I coached my daughter. Uh, one of the ladies came up who was with the high school daughter, and she said, "How do you, my daughter wants to, you know, play in college? How do you, you know, how do I get them to notice her?" And I said, "Just have her practice and get good. They'll notice you." So, I mean, it's just the game has grown so much now. So, I mean, there's so many opportunities. So, in terms of the Olympics uh, uh, and the excitement that I had when there, that was a life-changing event, and I'm just. Uh, you know, I'm thrilled that I was actually able to be a part of the growing of, of the game. Uh, when I played in the 68 games, uh, we played our first match against Russia, the Soviet Union at that time, and they hadn't, they hadn't, won a, they hadn't lost an international match in two years. And we had, our starting lineup had four out of the six guys were from Southern California, you know, just, you know, beach guys. And we actually, you know, we beat them. We beat the Russians uh, on that day. Unfortunately, we, we all got injured. I got injured and three other, the other guys got injured and we lost. But I think that that was one small step for the, for the USA Volleyball program to think that we could compete. And then years later, the spectacularly successful group under, with Karch Karai and those guys, and I mean, what they did, uh, just fantastic. And then when I was watching the, uh, the Olympic Games, the most recent games, to see how good our USA teams have gotten, it's just, it's just fantastic. But my greatest memories with the game are, are uh, from the Olympics and the, and the competition and, and the teammates that I had. And I had a great time with colleagues too. <laughs>